Lindsay Elmore, you are a pharmacist. How can people make the best use of their time when they're in the pharmacy getting prescriptions or just picking up, uh, you know, vitamins, et cetera? First and foremost, I think it's so important to recognize that the pharmacist knows so much information about medications, about supplements, and they can help you to stay safe as well as just having confidence and feeling comfortable while you take your medications. So one of the questions that I really encourage you, especially if you are getting a medication that you have never taken before, if a pharmacist doesn't offer to counsel you, let the pharmacy technician know like, Hey, I really want to talk to a pharmacist. I've never taken this medicine before. Ask them questions like, are there side effects that I should look out for? How do I know if those side effects are severe and I should talk to my doctor about them? How do I know if they're so severe that I should go to the emergency room about them? Are there drug interactions? Do I have common supplements at my home that I might should not take with this? Is there a way that I am supposed to take this medicine so that it gives me the maximum benefit? So that's one thing clarifying your medications. The next thing is it, people don't talk about this and it's critically important. Medications deplete critical nutrients. So we think about our micronutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, as well as macronutrients like water that are critical nutrients that get depleted. So ask your pharmacist, Hey, any of my medicines, does it deplete any nutrients, any supplements that I should grab while I'm here so that I hopefully won't have side effects from my medications? This is a question that honestly may catch your pharmacist off guard because it is unfortunately not well taught in pharmacy schools, but asking for, is there something I should pick up off of the shelf? Some medicines cause high blood sugar. Maybe you want to go home with a glucometer so you can be sure to check your blood sugar for the duration while you're on this medicine. So that's the second way that I would maximize the visit to the pharmacy. The third and final way is ask the pharmacist what services that they offer beyond just handing you a prescription. Mm -hmm. Chances are that they offer something called medication therapy management, where they can sit you down, make sure that you have an absolutely accurate, complete medication list from all of your doctors with all of the correct dosing, how you're actually doing it, answer your questions about side effects, drug interactions, how to take it appropriately, what to do if you forget your medication, what medications can deplete nutrients. They can sit down and build you a totally accurate medication list, which for anybody who has ever been hospitalized, you know how critical it is because the medication list that you give them is the medications that you are going to go on to. And there have been more medication errors than I can count from having inaccurate medicine lists. They may offer smoking cessation classes to help you quit tobacco. The mm -hmm. pharmacist may offer diabetes management classes where they can teach you how to use your glucometer or teach you how to eat better, how to look out for side effects of your medicines, et cetera. They also may help you to fit into diabetic shoes. They may be able to help you learn how to use your home blood pressure cuff so that you can monitor your health and wellness status all throughout your life and be sure that the medications that you're taking are safe for you to use. That is fantastic advice. Uh, yeah, I, I totally agree. Pharmacists, most underutilized member of the healthcare system, don't even need a, a referral to go to see a pharmacist, which again, I don't think, even think a lot of people realize. Lindsay, this has been terrific. How can people find out more about you? Hey, come and listen to the Lindsay Elmore show anywhere that you listen to podcasts and you can find me online at www.lindsayelmore.com. Fantastic. Lindsay, I'm going to subscribe to your podcast today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your time.